So who better to play it than one of the most dynamic and energetic players in pinball? Sean Grant from New York City. Already, another 10 million. There's a, there's a jackpot, 54 million on the left ramp. And there's two jackpots, nice combo there. Very uh, calm, collected. This is uh, maybe not the Sean Grant some people were expecting as Sean sometimes gets into a mode on a game where he really pushes himself very hard and jumps and screams at the machine. And Gonna be worth a significant number of points if he can get it. There's another nice drop catch and a backhand to start Coleman as he gives a little clap there. Sean's closing in on two billion. Uh, nice left hand, left uh, flipper shot there. That'll add a third ball into play as we start seeing the score at the bottom of the screen go a little bit nuts. Good shot there again from the left flipper. That is a tough, tough shot. That'll start multi ball number three. As we saw with the second multi ball, you can get 50 million to jackpot on the ramps. And then the band saucer for a hundred million. We'll see if he can get any further than that on this one. Nice shot to the left ramp, 55. There's the combo as we saw last multi ball to the right ramp, and that'll light the band member saucer all the way on the right for a hundred million. He's at 2.4, 2.5, still two million a bumper, balls everywhere, and uh, got to get that band member saucer. Get a ball trapped on the right. And get it in there. I want to see him get that Paradise City jackpot. It's a good one to get. And there was a great play if you want to go back over something. That was an excellent play and a good shot from the left flipper for Paradise City 100 million. And now back to jackpots. Left ramp, right ramp, jackpots again. About 30 seconds ago, in the middle of the multi ball with two balls in play, there was a ball slowly rolling towards the center drain. And Sean used the other ball to hit that ball away from draining down the middle. That is a great multi-ball play and one that uh, I recommend trying to practice if you want to have good success in multi-ball in, in tournaments. Game. Sean Grant putting up to solid performance. He got another 50 million in bonus. That'll put him over 3.1 for the number one score on the game. Sean Grant, Storm, SJG. See that as initials around New York City. Don't be surprised to see him a whole lot of places around the country as he plays in tournaments throughout. He'll be a force to be reckoned with at Pinburg and Papa tournaments, as he has been for the last 20 years. We kick it off with round two action with Brian Shepard, Sean Grant, Daniele Achari, and Tim Turney. They're going to be playing some Demolition Man. Chase Nunes and Bowen Currens have the call. Uh, this is Sean Grant again from... New York City. Sean's been a top-tier tournament player for all, basically 20 years. Oh, very great nice. game, Daniele. Uh, really solid and uh, probably going to win the 100 bucks here. Uh, now, Sean Grant, this is an interesting situation. He needs, he 465. needs 465 to survive. Yep. If he gets to 465, he can uh, he can roll from there and maybe go all the way through to beating the other players yep. and winning the 100. Uh, this is exactly what we want to see here. Uh, he's get back on the 15 million bonus here. Not a big bonus, but he needs the shot to start multiple ones. He has not made that shot yet. The Maybe. left loop. Oh, the left loop, and that is Maybe a ball save. save. He needed that. That was his head was blocking. That I was, he a, that was his elimination right oh, there. No. That, oh my God! Wow. Oh, <laughs> now he's gonna bounce this over. Now that should have been a bounce over. Now he's trying to cash in that multi ball. Oh, it's oh my God! Way out of control right now, and that can almost bump that right into the center drain. Now he's got control. Trap the ball. He is. All right, here's Maybe he's a little nervous right here. Here's an, awesome. here's an opportunity to make the left loop. He is not accuracy is not there right now. Oh, and that should probably have found the left out way. Nice. Make uh, that shot. Get over. a trap. Oh. Get a trap. Just, Just off trap. the left. Relax. Uh, get control. Relax. He's, the shot makes his no shot making right now. There it is. And you can hear him. Uh, he when, just started something it. goes well for Sean. You can usually tell wherever you are in the in the hall because uh, <laughs> he will he will announce it. In He's at 250 a right very, now. Very uh, a very personal way. Uh, 
He's where is he at? Two fifty. Two fifty. And he needed a four four sixty. Four sixty. He's now at three fifty six. And there's a jackpot lid on the left ramp. Now he if hasn't he can, used if his. He, he hasn't used his. Uh, his if he can get this yet. jackpot, he's got to explode hurry ups, which is an opportunity for some more points. If he can get the left ramp and then the uh, and then the completion on the right ramp. Three sixty eight. Now he hits the right. If he hits the right ramp here. He will have passed. Uh, he's got four sixty. He so hasn't he, even used his secret yet. Uh, so he's there, and that will eliminate Tim Turner. He just got uh, another one there. Twenty million explode jackpot. Hurry up. So this is uh, this is some great play here by Sean. Sean surviving and advancing. Now he's looking. Uh, he, well, he had many opportunities that he almost like <laughs> lost the ball. Yeah, yeah he so almost lost the ball in the middle. He almost so lost the ball down the right. He yeah. almost lost the ball down the left. And uh, you know sometimes you just persevere. Uh, and I'm sure he would prefer to get another multi-ball boy. Uh, that's, that's down, down, that's down, down. But he's okay uh, but with he's that. He's okay. He survived. Nice job. Sean Grant, by playing a great ball three, has advanced. My name is Sean Joseph Grant. I'm from Manhattan. I'm born and raised there. And um, I started playing pinball when I was four years old. The first competition that I participated in was actually in New York City. I win in, in pinball because I'm more prepared than my opponents. I understand the games more. When everything in my life is going wrong and everything's tough in the city, you know, it, it really helps me to be good at something. I mean, really good at something. It's just very comforting to know that if if I want to I can do something extraordinarily well that I enjoy doing and when I go to a tournament I get a chance to really prove how good I am but the thing is you know you don't want to assume that anyone's better than than you I know that even if I don't have as good a skill set of skills as Lyman Sheets or Keith Owen that I can play better that game and beat them I'm not gonna be in awe of anyone That's a great shot. That's the power of love. He'll have a uh, slightly different approach to some games than some other players. You think that's a fair? Yeah, you know, he, he really, I think he sometimes, you know, thinks things a little bit differently than other players, which, you know, it's certainly not a bad thing. I mean, oh, he's, no, a very, he's a very heady player for sure. Tough uh, bell drain from Sean. I just want to point out this is game three. Okay. Not game two. So, so, so this is this is it. This so is Sean, it. Sean, Sean has player two, and uh, Zach Sharp is player one. This is uh, uh, win and move on. Yes, and they're on in ball the three. Yes, and it's yeah. tournament day. You know, there's a little more pressure on the shots, and uh, this game, uh, you know, the flippers are maybe a little, a little. The shots are a little different than some other. AC it's hard to backhand on this ACDC. Right or on the right ramp anyway, as we saw Zach missing the back end. All right, so Sean here has basically, if he gets to a multi-ball, he's, uh, he's going he's gonna to win. He's got to be close to uh, Jam lit. here. He's uh, Jam's lit. lit. If he hits the right ramp, you can hear it. <laughs> he knows it. This is over. You can close your eyes at this point and just flip. We're within moments of having, oh, and it's there done. There it is. It's done. It's done. Sean, uh, Sean Grant from New York City has uh, eliminated last year's champion, Zach Sharp, uh, in a three, uh, very entertaining three-game match. And he will move on to face uh, the other side where uh, Jason Werdrick and uh, probably Jason Werdrick at this point. Bowen, where are you sitting? Uh, I managed to escape uh, really tough matches against uh, Jason as well as Joe. It was interesting because we knew it was lit last time, and he didn't know, but he managed oh. to. Nice save. Yeah, wow. you can get away with 
just about yeah. that and not much more. Oh, oh, that would be awesome. Bring back the gobble hole. Oh, no. Look at that. Look at uh, that. Making it count. Chill out. Yeah. Sean uh, having some good games. This is uh, third time we've seen him play this game really well. Bad he broke 100 game. against Zach on it? I, yeah, he broke 100 the other time, too. Be, oh, that was nice right there. Oh. No, no, that's, there the, is. that's oh. the perspective of the uh, auto launcher. Oh, I see. Uh, he walks away after his movement, which is uh, sometimes you lose the ball even after saving it. I tend to do that, too. Yeah. Sometimes it bites me. It's hard not to. Because somehow you think, like, the game's going to see that you're, like, yeah. anti-touching. That's and right, then the exactly. bomb's going to settle more because you're, like, trying to be nice. So here's Sean Grant on uh, Iron Man. Because, you know, you just have just so little to do. Like, oh, God, what exactly do I need to do to get these few points? Definitely right, bringing those down. So you wound up second in Classics, and where did you go out in main division? Uh, ninth through 12th. Ninth through 12th, okay. Yep. So definitely definitely a lot of fun, a lot of pinball. I was feeling like I was playing pretty well, and it was a good weekend. And again. Wow, that was a really nice save by Sean. He must have... He was right on the edge there of uh, tilting, tilting that one. This was a game I chose, too, just that uh, people had been struggling with it. and uh, It's one of those ones, you know, you can get in there and quickly, you know, put up uh, 20, 25 mil and make it hard on somebody to catch it. Wow. Him. Man. Five straight <laughs> shots. Yo, know, Sean deserves that little celebration there. He, you got a couple of uh, power in-lane magnet throws there. Yeah, he did. That, uh, you Takes, know, worked uh, out to his benefit. It's a game, uh, it's a wonderfully, especially with the tilt being what it is on this one, mm -hmm. I found it very frustrating. Uh, oh, this. Yeah, uh, he's really upset. I mean, he didn't even, oh, he just let uh, Jericho. Yeah, he got nothing on Monger, but he's got Jericho ready. And do or die, does he have do or die? His bogey's, his bogey's running. Oh, he's got to wait for that before it kicks in right uh no i think nope. you can start okay. jericho with bogey running there it is uh there's a huge clap from the gallery uh stacked five six deep jericho so, so does uh, he have do or die or does he not have the drones no play? uh he or didn't the, get his uh fast one. did he have i think it's a green one that's not the, there the whiplash yeah whiplash he might have had that on a previous ball probably correct and then there's always the worst, which is when Jericho starts with do or die and Monger comes up and says, nope, no do or die for you. Yeah, <laughs> that's uh, that's extremely unfortunate. I mean, that's. I guess Ooh, in theory yeah. you could get Monger down in time and still maybe pick up a little. All right, All right. so let's uh, let grinding it out at the. Uh, Going to ACDC. How'd that work for you? I don't know if it gave me any locks or not. I did it once and never hit a single target the yeah. entire game. So <laughs> we had the uh, programmer for Mustang on earlier. So you can go back and watch the recording. He explains in detail the burnout multi-ball. And, uh, mm. yep. and uh, also the super skill. So, uh, wow. So, uh, this is a one ball game right now. And it uh, could just be one jam. One jam could uh, win or lose this thing. I was going to say, Sean was feeling it a little bit there because he definitely has the potential to drain out and, and, you know, not have to, Joe and I have to play his third ball. Yes. Even though they both would have been under 10 million. But, you know, those things happen. It's, yeah. and, you know, not, sometimes. Not every match can be uh, a burner, 200 million you know? to 300 million. Yeah, exactly. I was remembering uh, Bowen and Keith playing on this, what, two years ago, or, and they were both putting up huge scores. And then sometimes. That was back during the, the big Highway to Hell days. Yes, right? that was back when Highway to Hell was the uh, song du jour. Let's see from the. He uh, deflected one with the other, which uh, I don't know if uh, good thought. And uh, he continues to play the multi-ball. On a side note, I do know that Sean's cab is waiting outside for him, as he mentioned oh, to so me. Oh, so uh, he's got a plane to catch. He's got other incentives as well. You make it to the next round, generally you can afford to hit, take the hit on the uh, airline ticket. Well, that's what, that's, uh, what he's that's what Josh and Zach always say. Yeah. Those, are, those are the times you don't mind paying the... $50 change fee or whatever it is. Sean's going to have to go tell the cabbie to uh, keep the meter running. I got, I got another round. 